San Francisco 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy has become a polarizing figure for the simple fact that it just seems like people have a hard time giving him credit where credit is due. They move the goalposts consistently to keep their narratives alive, and that's typically where we find ourselves in the Brock Purdy discourse. But again, the common themes seem to apply. People who actually understand football and especially who have played football at a high level all seem to say the very similar things when it comes to evaluating Brock Purdy and no different than defensive coordinator Steve Spagnolu. So take a listen to what he had to say about Brock Purdy, and we're going to kind of react to it on the other side because I think there's plenty of truth in what he has to say. So take a listen right here. Seems like you played a lot of man that day or that night. Of the benefits of playing man against that particular opponent, what did you see in that? Um, I I think the I think the quarterback's really good against zone and finding those pockets and spaces, and I think the the receivers adjust routes to do that. That that makes it really challenging in zone. Now, one of the things you got to remember is we had you know last year was a little different. LJ was here and Trent. We had him in a different spot and. And so we'll see if we can do the same things. But um, I just think their their system is built that they really can expose zone coverage. And yet, I think they got enough skill that if you don't have the right man people covering their men, that that can be challenging too. I mean, it's going to start up front and stop in the run, and hopefully we can get the quarterback not to be in timing like he is. Because I, I can't find a weakness in this quarterback. I, I Every time I put the film on, I'm more and more impressed. Um, it's funny, I was watching – you guys will, will have a better idea of the year. When did we go out there and play in a regular season game? Yeah, and it was at the end of the game, and I think they had taken Garoppolo out, and it was it was Brock Purdy, and I had forgotten that, but he ran the two-minute drill and kind of got him down there, and then I think we picked it off at the end, but he looked pretty good then, not like he is now, um, but I'm really impressed with the quarterback. So Steve says every time he puts the film on, he's impressed with Brock Purdy. I, hey, I feel the same way. Every time we watch Brock, it feels like you you think you've got him figured out and he does something new. Like this last week against the Seattle Seahawks, he was again putting on a showcase with his legs. And the new kind of trend it was was running up the middle or fake running up the middle and then dipping out. And he was breaking defenders' ankles consistently with this little move. And again, it's just like, Man, I thought we had Brock pretty much pegged, but then he keeps elevating and he keeps doing new things and he keeps, you know, taking his game to another level. And so obviously, if you know what you're looking for, you're going to be able to see that. And with Spags and everything he has to say about Brock, he's very complimentary of Brock. And if you don't remember, he did a couple podcasts at the end of last or I guess the beginning of this year when the Super Bowl had ended and he could all he could do was just gush about Brock Purdy and just talk about how, you know, he, they had to adjust their scheme because of Brock, because he was just picking them apart and they had to change things and they had to try to adjust what they were doing because Brock was they weren't able to stop him. So. I, I think, you know, when you when you look at Spags, like he has given Brock a lot of credit. Obviously, it's game week. You know, these coaches aren't going to give any bulletin board material. They're going to be high, uh, highly complimentary, uh, complimentary of, you know, their opponent. That's just how it works. It's the gamesmanship um, within the game. And so I don't expect Spags or, or Andy Reid to come out and be taking shots at Brock Purdy. But also at the same time, I do think they're genuine in their praise of him. I, I do think they really truthfully believe he's a good quarterback. And um, talking about how now without Legereus need, they're going to have to adjust their defenses yet again to try to, you know, counter what he is doing. So it is going to be fascinating to see uh, Brock Purdy, this offense versus Spag's defense, and their defense is really talented. And they've got a lot of players on all three levels of the defense. And of course, running Spag's scheme, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a a straight up heavyweight battle um, between the 49ers offense and the Chiefs defense. It's going to be one of the most exciting matchups that I'm looking forward to seeing. But I also thought it was funny how he mentioned uh, Brock Purdy's first ever game action. We've talked about it a couple times this week, but I was at that game. 
Um, and I, I remember when Brock came in for Jimmy Garoppolo and he ran that two minute drill just like Spags had talked about. And I remember watching Brock and I remember the like the ball jumping out of his hand like he's got some he's got some zip on that ball more than Jimmy. Um, now, obviously, he led them down and he threw like I think it was like a high ball over the middle that turned into an interception. But he was like kind of scrambling all over the place. Definitely a little erratic. You could definitely tell the the juices were flowing. Um, but you could again, you could see the glimpses of of Brock Purdy in that just one drive against. Now I'm here and tell you like, oh, I knew what what Brock was going to be just from that one series. No, I did not see that. Um, but again, it's all about the journey, and that's where the journey started for Brock in the regular season, which obviously led to him stepping in against the dolphins and then never looking back. So Brock has been a, been a, a good quarterback. It's obviously been a heavy talking point because obviously you have people out there who just don't believe you have other people out there who sway in the wind, um, and overreact to every individual, uh, game and are super hyperbolic and they just change and flip flop like fishes, or you have other people who just don't really know what they're watching and you don't really, they don't really know how to evaluate. And so they, they say what they think they're seeing. And unfortunately it's not a represent, uh, representative of what is actually being shown on film. So the thing with Brock is I think we all understand he's a good quarterback. We all understand that he is playing at an extremely high level, even with the ups and downs of the season. He, the fact that he's, again, being able to rebound from bad games is even more objectively impressive, is that he keeps bouncing back. It's part of being a good player. It's part of being a high-level player is resiliency, is being able to overcome mistakes, overcome bad games, bad series, bad plays, to be able to keep firing, to be able to keep your confidence up, and to be able to keep leading. And that's what Brock continues to show, play in, play out, week in, week out. And that's why the 49ers have a franchise quarterback in Brock Purdy. And uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun watching his growth, his development, and his continued evolution. Like He is still evolving as a quarterback. Um, and I don't even think we've seen the end of it. He's 24 years old. I still think he's, he's still like figuring out what he can and can't do and, and, you know, building more confidence within that. I think you're seeing more confidence in his legs to be able to, uh, to make plays with his legs, to extend plays with his legs. So I, I really do think that the arrow is still just pointing up on Brock and he's only going to continue to improve. And, um, you know, we like what we see now, but I think, you know, in about a year or two, you're really going to like what you see from Brock Purdy. And we're going to be talking about Brock Purdy as for sure, hands down, one of the best quarterbacks in this league. Um, you had a, you had, again, you had a Super Bowl under that belt. It's going to be hard to, to talk about him, you know, not being arguably the best quarterback in the league if he keeps playing at this high of a level and he adds a Super Bowl ring. Um as well now obviously there's always going to be people who discredit him and and doubt him and are waiting for the shoe to fall still but it is what it is and he's continuing to prove the doubters wrong and making the doubters look real real silly but uh you guys let me know what you think about what spags had to say let me know what you think about brock in the comments below and as always make sure to like and subscribe for more updates